Somehow I'm gonna get some religious rebels to spawn. Can't be impossible. And if I do not get it to work this stream, I'll read up on it, do some testing, and I'll get it to work next time. Um, in Grelia. Should get their capital. So now I should probably just. Let's see, I've got a spare troop. I'll use that to block them. Like that. 15 Diplo power or Moldavia reputation. Oh, sorry, rel relation. Yeah. Ah, so now we are. So yeah, last time I talked about blocking. Uh, oh, I, my eyes deceived me. I thought they were making troops there, but they weren't. We'll see if we actually... Did I ally them? Yeah, I did. Do I want to marry them? Vassalization, minus 43. Most of it is distance between borders. So... That might actually not be too far away if I take some territory. I don't know. Nah. Let's take it easy with the marriages. No, that always makes me pause when I'm at 999 because I think I'm capped, but then I realize that's just a con just a coincidence. Coinkadink. Uh losing fifty trade. Sorry, diplo. Sucks. I so wish Sunny uh guys would show up there. Oh well. Oh yeah, so now I can now I can uh, say what I was gonna say. Uh, blocking provinces. If you look at their provinces, you can actually see when they're recruiting units. Uh, you get this little smith down here. I guess you could actually. Uh, I don't know if you actually can see it. Other ways. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's the only way you can see it. Uh, this smith model. So when you see that, you know they're recruiting a unit. You can see when it's done. Uh, just send a unit over there. And when it stops, that recruitment stops. Because they can't recruit a unit when you're sieging. So yeah, that is the essence of uh, blocking them. Royal marriage with Muscovy. Uh, oh, they actually love me now. So yeah, that is a good idea. They wouldn't join though because they have a truce. The Golden Horde? No. Multiple wars. Oh, that's why. So when this is over, I could attack the Golden Horde. The Moscow would join me. However, Ottomans. Yeah, I'll have to so sort that somehow. Maybe. No, they're also allied to the Ottomans now. Kazan? be an option I guess but it feels wrong so now the question is do I go for driving this guy into dictatorship it's probably a bad idea because um, because he is a crappy general I'm much better off getting a new one that could be more useful as a general. Um, but it would be nice. How old? 
old is he? Ritza, 61, so no. That's not gonna happen. When I get a young one, age 30. Now this one shows potential. Uh, let's see. 38, 42. At 42, he would be uh, 464. Yeah, purple Crimea. I don't know about that. Should probably go for military sometime. On the other hand, why did I actually pick the Diplo now? If I do not need it. Hmm, interesting. That was a mistake, I guess. Oh well, we'll uh, be able to rectify that in four years. That's not so bad. Not so bad indeed. Siege of Imariti. Oh, that's there. So let's take their capital. And as you can see, there are building troops there. 6th of August, so nothing to worry about. And as you can see, they are Progress is halted while the province is besieged. If the siege is lost, the progress will be lost too. And since the AI is the AI, they will just cancel when I boss. So there we go. Today's tip. Uh, oh yeah, I know uh, that I re re sorry, I lose tradition. Uh, that is the kind of the point uh muscovy oh crap no that's this is something that i cannot stand for to be honest i cannot afford to go to war with the ottomans right now Yeah, the thing would be to try to get your ruler to be a dictator and change your repub republic into a dictatorship government uh, by driving your republican tradition very low by re-electing him. Re-electing him. My, my pronunciation. Re-electing him. Uh, that way you'd be stuck with a hopefully high-skilled ruler for life and when he dies you'd be back to the Republic uh, I've not tried it out in practice well I've done it a few times but I don't know how effective it is if it's worth it if it's worth if it's worth the trouble but uh, having those high-skilled rulers as a Republic is kind of nice so I don't know I might try it out I mean you get some unrest and your stability is terribly expensive, but it might be worth it. We'll see. We'll see what I do. Uh, let's see. Nation of Muscovy. Golden Horde. Well, the Ottomans might not have joined it, on the other hand. So, Muscovy. Golden Horde, Nogai, and Uzbek. So, it might be safe to, act safe to actually join this war. Depends on the Ottomans. Seems like they will not. Uh, taking money, of course. Of course they did. They are now at war with the Muscovy. So what do I do? Muscovy, the guaranteed current ally, and war with the Ottomans. Or piss off Muscovy and hope to ally the Ottomans eventually and not fight them right now. Hmm. Crap. That's what I say. That is uh, my current feeling. This is, this is bad. Why did you have to do that, Golden Horde? Why indeed? Well, let's let's see about the Ottomans. 
they will not get access through Georgia. Well, they will because they're threatened. So, so I guess. So I guess they will get actually get there. Yeah, screw you, Moscovy. I'm not gonna risk that. Uh, Moscovy has done me all but no good because because of their whatever, and I have a feeling they're gonna be beaten by the Ottomans right now. So I'd be stuck with uh, the Ottomans in my territory and a weak ally. So yeah, feels like it's not worth it. Yeah. yeah. Peace offer from Georgia. No, that's not gonna happen. Inquisitor, Georgian peasants, Crimean patriots. Hmm. Azov. like odds of maybe I can sell it to someone I mean it's a core I don't know I can't remember how if they changed that uh, if they no longer just accept any core your vassals so let's take a look at this uh, If I take them, I'd rather if you take them in a war in that way. Oh, will they still? Yeah, they're still zero, so that's good. Let's just transfer them. And then maybe I should transfer some more as well, because I'm not going to take territory there myself, I think. Maybe if I took something down here. What's this? Imereti. Has a lot of cores. Right there. All that's for. Alright. So that explains it, I guess. Why they attack. Uh, I don't like them being allied to the Ottomans. So those three... Oh, no, that is something. That is something interesting. I could fully annex them and release them as my vassal. I'm gonna do that, I think. That should up my power just a little bit. Call for peace, I don't care about that. Fully annex them, uh, sell the course back to Circassia and then release Georgia. That would be a plan, I think. 90% I guess if I let them revolt and beat them down that would uh, reduce I would get minus 20 for the time being which kind of makes sense So yeah, I'm gonna think I'm gonna do that. Worst comes to worst, uh, in a possible worst case scenario, they manage to enforce their demands, and I lose this three base text province to go the Golden Horde, and I can just take it back later since I have core on it. So yeah, I'm just gonna go let them 
revolt because I do not want to pay military, po uh, military points to keep them in line. I can't really do anything else about them. So we'll see. So there we go, just one province left. So my war exhaustion is currently messing things up. So I'm gonna have to pay for that. Do that. Um let's see, it's no it's just Azov. It's just gonna provoke this. Because it can. Maybe it's a better it's better if I actually have troops ready to fight them. <laughs> Let's not push it if I don't have to. Yeah, I'm gonna finish up this war. Um, maybe the rebel business. Then I'm gonna end the stream and go to bed because uh, yeah I need to do things tomorrow so yeah thank you so there we go uh, full annexation 200 diplo power is that worth it Genoa, Moldavia, Muscovy Ottomans will hate me again, just a little bit. Um, Twenty five. What if I do this? Then I can't do that. Yeah, no, that's no glory. Uh, so, got rebels. Can I? God damn it! That was Circassia. It's a shame you can't sell several provinces at once. My troops will want to get out of there as soon as possible. Please. I actually made it out of there alive. Well, partly alive. So. Crap. So. Circassian Patriots. I guess that's. That's them. That's just silly. Uh, guess I'll. When's the next time I can sell? I'm just gonna have to do that. I'm gonna make Georgia a vassal. I just want to release them as a vassal. Uh, because then they will not be able to revolt. So let's see, rebels. Now this is also this, this is the same thing as with um, as with um, Azov, the Crimean patriots that wants to defect to Golden Horde. This Circassian uh, Patriots wants to defect to Gazikumuk. Just it does not make any sense. Uh, where are they? Circassian. I'm going to have to harsh treat them with these. Because there's a small chance that I will not be able to sell these two provinces in time. So I had no choice. Sadly. Uh, let's see. Go with that one. 
also rivals Lithuania. That's a good pick. Golden Horde. Well, at least Golden Horde. We'll see about if we go for Kara or Lithuania. Kara is in the wrong way, so it's kind of a strange pick, even though they are a safer spot to expand into. Um, let's. I'm kind of all over the place right now. Let's let's see. I'm not sure I can actually release them with rebels. We'll see about that. Georgia. I can't. Go. Uh, there we go. Uh, Those rebels, though, uh, they, I have a feeling they will, they will break them. So, not much I can do about that, though. So, let us not cry over that. Uh, Crimean Patriots. Yeah, like I said, I should just let them. I have a feeling they're gonna. Uh, they are going to pop just as this guy here gets into ad sub. I'm not gonna make him go the other way around, just to prove a point. Thankfully I was wrong, that's what I was hoping for. Uh, because now I made a fool out of myself. The game knows that. Constantinople gate guy can actually transfer trays by now, so why not? Uh, let's see. Republican tradition. Yeah, I like that. So, just waiting for the. Oh, there we go. Ten troops, though. That's. No fun. However, the unrest decreased to zero, so that's good. So, guess we can do this somehow. It's kind of a shame. Seven, eleven, sorry, nine. I mean, um. Uh, Losing a lot of money? Crap. I'm gonna go all out on this, uh, just... But I don't want to waste manpower, that would be stupid. Sure, mercenaries are more expensive, but if I can avoid peasant war, then they are not as, as expensive. Also, they will be done sooner. One, two, three, five. That's nine. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go for the ten, the full ten, and I'm gonna need a decent leader. So let's oh two two two. That's nice. I could actually make this work. Also, let's hope Sir Cassia can join in this. Screwing over my economy just to try something out. I don't know if that's the best idea, but it's an idea. You shall not be afraid to take a few loans. It will uh, most often it will work out. So show province. So yeah. Attacking from team is safe. Ugh. Such things is annoying. Uh, we go. See what happens. They have no leaders, so it should be fine. Also, Circassia joins me, so that's good. 
There we go. Get rid of these mercenaries. They're hella expensive. Also do that. There we go. Now. Azov has no unrest. <laughs> yeah, poor you. Georgia is going to lose some territory. But we can help help them get it back later. We don't mind. Uh, what about... Well, not even close. Uh, let's see. How about you? Do you have any intention to turn into religious rebels, please? Revolutionary? Oh, crap. Oh, well. That hurt a lot. I guess not. I want to know what makes that tick. What makes... What makes the decision what kind of rebel will emerge? I guess intolerance. Well, intolerance is freaking religious. There's no thing in here that gives increased unrest because of anything that has to, uh, anything to do with culture it's civility and then it's religion and all the religion together is more than the stability so yeah, i don't even know anymore well they feel their ruler should be of crimean culture Well, I think they'd turn into a kingdom, but then I don't know. I might be wrong. They might actually be no danger at all. Oh well. Uh, Ottomans. Well, that would be a revolution. Hansa <laughs> Genoa from Rhenia, Bohemia, Poland. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, you know what? Theodore is going to take a break now because uh, I have no idea where to go from here. I need to figure out the, uh, uh, the revolt mechanics so that I can actually get an ally again. Because right now, sorry, there we go. We're kind of alone in the world. We lost Muscovy due to the Golden Horde. We're still warned by... Well, I guess we aren't. We aren't warned anymore. So we can fight whoever we want. Uh, still. The Ottomans are a big problem right now. So, I will... Uh, I will go to bed. I will do my school stuff tomorrow. Uh, my seminar. And I will uh, read up on... Uh, I will read up on revolts and what makes them do what they do so yeah thank you for watching tonight and uh, for you watching on youtube chat thank you for watching uh, thus far and yeah take care of yourself <laughs> yeah what whatever that was take care of yourselves and i will probably see you if you come by tomorrow uh, on the stream, something like that. Maybe. We'll see. Uh...